Alright guys, so now we are going to play a little reggae guitar and some reggaeton. Alright, so, the key, the key to good reggae guitar is that percussiveness and following the rhythm of the drums. Right, so, what I mean by percussiveness is you're going to pick upwards versus a, listen how much ring there is. I mean, even if you palm muted this and went, it still got way more overtones and stuff going on than, you hear that? Versus, there's way too much going on there and you will drown out the other instruments. The guitar in reggae and reggaeton is not the focal point like in rock music. Uh, so you really want, because people are dancing to it, you really want to let the beat drive everything, all right? So let the, drum, let the drummer do his thing. The drummer, if you're a guitar player in a reggae band or you're playing reggaeton, just remember the drum beats and the DJ, let them do their thing and let them drive, uh, the, drive, drive the song, okay? So let's do reggae first, all right? So a nice reggae beat is... Usually, usually I'll play the opens. Uh, if, you, if you hear in my tunes, I've got more of a. All right, and another key, which uh, which a lot of people for both reggae and reggaeton is keep your wrist loose, okay? Because you want to be able to be fast with it. Yeah, I can't, I can't do it. So you want to be able to be fast with it. All right, so. Let's go. Let's go to uh, to a tighter power chord. So get on your E. All right. And you can also do. You hear it? But I like in a good reggae tune to have the the double in there. that I like doing lessons, uh, you know, it's not a traditional reggae chord progression, but it's going to be easier for you to start to do a simple American style chord progression, which is E, B, C sharp, and A. Ready? E, B, C sharp, A. So. Now, uh, you actually probably draw out the chord changes um, as to not have too much going on. So a little more like your basic uh, reggae pattern and really the practice is to get those tight with no ring a nice type upward stroke if you just stayed on one chord while you're watching TV you will mass you will master this master this and then eventually you want to master it with your open chords because that's really what you'll be playing I'm just going through straight straight into a, a small practice little little fender amp. So, um, I mean, if, if you're going through you know a nice rack system compressors or uh, or a native instruments panel through your laptop, you know you're you'll be a lot tighter normally. I'm playing this raw. That's all we got in the studio here. But I kind of like that authentic twang. If you hear those nice 70s reggae tunes, you've got that nice twang, all right? So now let's move on to the reggaeton. Now, in reggaeton, you've got, uh, you've got this beat.
right? So all you've got to do as a regular on guitar player is to hit those upbeats. Watch my hands. If you only play, right, you're still on the beat. So you want to play those ups. So let's go back to our E chord. It's tighter. because I'm playing a power chord. Really, you're going to play open minor chords usually in, uh, in a reggaeton song. A minor is great for that. Oh god, they love their B minor, and he, I love to use a good D minor in my tunes. But let's do A minor, it's probably a little easier. You know, the risk of having that overtone ring and a little feedback is higher when you're playing open chords because it's not as tight as a power chord. Now, again, practice this, I would say, starting out on the power chords. The usual E, B, C sharp, A. So... playing with a drum. You are not going to have to worry about the part. It's good to practice with a drummer to just practice your... Otherwise you're going to add too much clutter to the song. And I, I mean really because I'm here by myself so we've got... Uh, there's, no, there's no drummer behind me today so we've got... 